YouTube. Today I'm going to do a review on the 1929 T-Rod. This is by Lindbergh, made in the USA. No glue, no paint included. It is a skill level two. And you can still find these. I've had this one for a while. This is probably going to be my next build while I'm waiting on stuff for the General Lee and uh, the Tamiya putty so that I can do my Zimmerit on that tank for the diorama that I'm working on, the 140A scale one. So this is the one we're going to check out today. That's the front of the box. I really like that box art. Unfortunately, this figure is not included. I wish it was. That is the side of the box. The other side. Age is 14 and up. That. And that. And then you have the back of the box. This is 124 scale. Alright, let's take a look inside. Alright, this is going to be an extremely quick review. There is your instruction manual or sheet. Flip it over. And that's it. There's not much to this kit. Um, that That's the decals that come with it. And like I said, this is a Lindbergh kit, so there probably will be sanding and whatnot on it. All right, let's look at the rest of the kit. Here are the chrome parts. Get your exhaust, windshield, dashboard. And like I said, this is, if you really want to make this detailed, you're going to have to take the time and really put the effort into it. Because like you can see, there's your dashboard. There are no decals for the gauges. You'll have to paint that in. And if you want the dashboard painted anything but chrome, you'll have to do that too. Unfortunately, the seams, you can't sand off if you want these to be chrome. Now, I'll probably just paint all this, do my own thing. I'll just paint everything silver. But that, that's the only problem that you run into. There's the other chrome sprue. That's nice and detailed. Get to see what you're going to get with that. Okay, there is the frame, uh, the wheels, one of the tires, parts of the engine. You got some steel, one of the bars back there, a roll bar type piece that you see right there in the back, right there. The grill area. Bring this up so you can see. That is the first sprue. Here are the rest of the wheels. These are plastic, not rubber, so you have to paint these. But that makes it good because I definitely want to do the white walls. I know on the box it shows everything's black except for the red wheels, but I kind of like those uh, white walls there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's your seat, lights, and there is the tea bucket, part of the grill, some of the frame, your stick shift. Now see there, this is what I'm talking about, see the line right there, you're going to have to sand that off. There's definitely going to be some work involved. A little bit more than usual, but that's okay. And this is one though that if you're going to build this, you're building it for fun. Okay. There is another one. And the last sprue. Right here, got your engine, all kinds of stuff on there, your tank, 
four piece axles, steering wheel. I'm gonna put that T bucket up again. So there's not much to this. Like I said, this is one you're gonna want to build for fun. And uh, you know, it's not extremely detailed, but there's enough there to work with. And uh, like I said, just have fun. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and God bless.